I can't tell you how many times I got sent this news story over the last couple days, uh, primarily because it comes from my hometown of Ashtabula, Ohio. And in true Ashtabula fashion, it <laughs> involves an Amish person. Uh, an Amish man was the subject of a low-speed police chase on May 14th when he was asleep while operating a horse and buggy. Ashtabula Sheriff Deputy Mike Talbert. Oh, I went to school with him. No, I did not go to school with him. Uh, he attempted to stop the buggy at around 2.43 a.m. Apparently, the Amish guy was just coming home from the bars. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, in Orwell, Ohio, that's in Ashtabula County, but was unsuccessful and told other officers that the driver of the horse and buggy looked like he was asleep. Yeah, the police officer found uh, a can of beer by the buggy. Then the police officer was like uh, walking up to the Amish guy who was passed out. The horse took off, wouldn't stop. I believe we have some body cam footage from the police officer who tried to pull over the buggy. Hey, hey. You're supposed to say, whoa. That's what horses respond to. Hey is for horse. Oh, wait. Wake up. I guess hey would work too. There's a Bud Light can sitting in there, and he's passed clean out. That's what he did to me. He'll go home. The horse knows how to get home. <laughs> if you think about it, uh, Amish buggies are pretty much low-tech Teslas. They can drive themselves. You can sleep, and uh, it'll find its way home. Uh, neither Teslas nor Amish buggies have fucking Apple CarPlay or uh, Android Auto. The similarities go on and on. We got a drunk Amish guy passed down a buggy. <laughs> Staley and Bogue Road. He just turned eastbound on Bogue. And I yelled at the guy when he rode by. There's a Bud Light can sitting in the buggy. And I hit the side of the buggy and hollered at the guy. He's passed clean out. He's slumped over. He's out. No, I mean, I'm yelling, whoa, whoa, whoa. And. Well. You were yelling, hey, hey, hey. No. Whatever. I'm going to see if I can get in front of him and slow down. <laughs> yeah. 421. Put up uh, some of those spike strips. Actually, you don't even have to. Just lay out a few carrots. It'll stop. <laughs> Eat. You're making this way more complicated than it needs to be, sir. You just go, shh, 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 shh. Good horse. I'll listen to you. Stop. Nope. Disregard. He just rammed it into my car. <laughs> hey! Stop your horse! Stop your horse! This is what the fucking Ashtabula Police Department has to deal with. Things you'll only hear them say. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop your horse, sir! I'm not gonna ask you again. Stop your horse! Get your horse. That is a souped-up buggy, man. I don't think it's street legal. Grab your horse. Those look like 46-inch rims, and I'm pretty sure I see ground effects. Horse. Shouldn't be driving that thing around. I'd expect that from Mennonites, but Amish, come on, you're better than that. All right, uh, police initially responded to 911 calls from people who claimed the buggy was all over the road after pursuing the horse and buggy in a low-speed chase. The deputy eventually blocked the buggy with his car, but the buggy hit the cruiser. The person operating the horse and buggy was identified as Nathan Miller, who took a breathalyzer test and registered a 0.63%. Miller was arrested and charged with operating a vehicle while under the influence. So there you go. That's what's happening in Ashtabula. Hometown proud, baby.